Hey guys, today we're going to take a quick look at a little experimental project I've been working on, which is a HPA powered Apollo. The reason I started building this was that I had the the gearbox exploded on another one. Gears didn't break, strangely enough. But I found out that an XPC tank fits right inside the existing plunger tube of, a, of an Apollo. And I mocked it up with just using the existing um, pump and firing button from the uh, XPC to actually see if it fit in the shells and, and how that would work. And once that worked, I found out that the, uh, the tank had enough power to you know, throw the, the rival rounds at least as far as stock. I did a little more research. I went off the Make Test Battle uh, Sledgefire video on basically how to plumb in the XPC tank, and I got an awful lot of help from Liam or Spectre on kind of the fine tuning things and, and more HPA theory, which was nice to get it straight from the source instead of, you know, some kind of roundabout information. But it's, uh, Really, just haven't had a chance to field test it or anything. I'm have it plumbed off my air compressor right now because I don't have an HPA tank. But I wanted to see if how feasible this was before I went all the way. But it's uh, surprisingly effective. It's um, it uh, because there's no priming action on it. I was able to shorten up the basically the, the chambering system to basically it sh cutting the, the prime stroke length from about four inches down to about an inch and a half. So it's a lot quicker, results in a much shorter barrel. So you can just have like that. But um, future plans include moving to a, uh, a air piston and having that move the, the bolt linkage where it'll essentially be a semi-automatic pistol, so you can just, you know, but that may be in the future. I'm just currently researching some of the parts needed for that, but that's the long-term plan. So let's just kind of take a quick look at, uh, you know, throw it on the bench and see what we got. Okay. So what we have is the XPZ tank with the PVC cap on it and fitted inside the existing plunger tube with the valve on the back inlet coming in here. And this is super ghetto linkage that I have here, but this is just still kind of an experimental to see how it's going to work before I build something really cool. But it, um, when I mocked up the XBZ tank, it actually put the firing button right where the trigger catch was, so I was actually able to use the trigger unmodified to fire the XBZ. Unfortunately, after I plugged it and then added the valve, that of course moved it out a ways, and so I had to build another, uh, another pivot mount thing and add this super ghetto linkage but I'll build a solid rod eventually. But but it's functional. This uh, support here on the back is actually made out of a stock attachment point that I cut the um, extension part, cut it off short, and then just had to make notches where these fit in. And that supports everybody and keeps everybody located. And then of course, eventually I'll have the, the nuts here to kind of keep that contained. There's also a corresponding guy here, which is the other end of that, to kind of support it and keep it from moving around. I don't know if it's going to move around, but better safe than having things wiggling. But this is a, a cut down version of my, you know, existing pump action setup. Had to cut a little bit off the back here so it didn't smash into that. And then I, instead of using this little linkage piece that fit in there and slid back and forth, I just bypassed it entirely and just added a piece of uh, blaster shell that had this little reinforcement guy, just glued that in there so that that works the bolt back and forth. But yeah, like I said, that, that shortens up the, the priming stroke from about four inches or so to right about an inch and a half. And so that makes it a lot nicer. 
and I think there's room in here across the top to fit the air piston and I might have to add something across the top you know if it sticks out too far but I'm not sure how that's gonna work yet but that's like I said that's that's in the future and uh, I still have yet to field test this and see just how effective the HPA is but anyway that's what that looks like so far and as it gets cooler I'll update you guys later and in the meantime thanks for watching